When you're starting a new brand, one of the biggest things that'll let you down on the backside that you'll spend most of your time with is dealing with supply chain issues. So understanding, being aware of that is really a great way to avoid any of those headaches in the future. And that's what this video is gonna cover. So awareness is the first thing. You know, when we're talking about supply chain, we're talking about bringing in products from overseas, sometimes carting them across the country, sometimes last mile delivery. So when you're bringing a product in from overseas, what happened during the pandemic when the price for a, a container went up from $5,000 to $20,000, you know, it could happen again, um, probably will happen again. So be aware of that, have a plan for that eventuality, know going in that that could happen, having back stock on hand, you know, you can plan for that ahead of time so that that doesn't necessarily affect your ability to deliver product to the store. So at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that the store shelves don't go empty of your product because that could get you dropped from the retailer, that could get you fees charged. There's a lot of different negative aspects that you don't wanna have come through for that. Um, next is the product packaging. So if you have a hipster product where you're selling you know, homemade um, pasta sauce and you're putting it in um, the mason jars, what happens when canning season comes and you can't find any mason jars or you know if hipsters take over the planet and you know they're not available anywhere you need to have a plan b for your packaging your supplies even shipping containers you know what happens if the plastic peanuts or the foam peanuts um, aren't available how do you how are you going to get your product out there what's your plan b be aware have a plan for that plan B on shipping materials, all of the other things. If you can't get boxes, how are you gonna get the product to your customers? Um, we also saw a shortage of shipping containers during the pandemic. So we can't forget that. What happened with the blockade uh, in Panama, the product getting through. Amazon, did, you know, they, they started manufacturing their own shipping containers. We don't all have that luxury. so. Having that awareness, having a plan B as far as if my manufacturer or my shipping provider uh, decides you know, to go out of business or you know, his cousin's quinceaneras that day and I can't get a hold of him, who am I gonna call? How do I find a different way to bring the product in if that falls through? Have that plan B available for everything. Um, the lack of ability to move goods across the country is another thing that we saw with uh, you know the trucking costs increase and the availability of truckers um, really greatly decreased. Uh, so we have a lot of products sitting in the port of LA. Uh, it can't be moved across the country because the truckers aren't there to move the product across the country. So have a plan where if the port gets shut down or there's a huge backup in the port, if you have another port to send it to, if you have another location to get that to, have the plan B in place so that if that happens, you'll know where to go, you'll have a solution before it even gets to that point. Lastly, we saw a lot of uh, labor shortages during the pandemic, whether it's at the distributor, at the retailer, um, at the warehouse, or even with you know IRI, the tracking system. So understanding that, you know, those kind of redundancies to have in place where if a distributor doesn't have the manpower to get the product off the uh, truck, you know, where is that truck going to go? And where are you going to have a second warehouse where you can keep the product? Because if you keep it in the truck, you're going to get late fees and, you know, fees on fees on fees. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to be worth it. So understanding what happens if any of those parts of the supply chain break, where is the product gonna go? Who's gonna accept it? What the cost is going to be? And have those contacts already made so that they know and you know what plan B is going to be. Being prepared is never a bad thing. So have that plan B, have that plan C, get ready for the eventuality that your supply chain is gonna break because it usually does you're usually not prepared for it. And that's a common fail point for a new business. So know what's going to happen before it happens and have that plan in place. You'll be glad you did.